Yeah, next to me you can see the sales manager, Mr. Nagel, and the product manager, Mr. Seeburger, and they will be presenting the robot welding gun. And why do you call it multi-frame gun? This is actually quite simple, and the gun has been named after this multifunctional side plate. Well, and here we've got the right and the left plates, and it can be used for C guns and also for X guns, and it is the same design. And in connection with the further module, the um, standardized NIMAC transformer, the drive unit, and so on, I can actually cover a large number of different um, gun designs. For us as NIMAC, this means that uh, I can already pre-pick and pack and design projects without actually knowing what my gun will look like later. For the customer it's the same benefit. They reduce their spare parts because they have fewer identical parts and they can still maintain and service their products. And if anything should be defective in the welding gun, within 20 minutes you can replace all the components directly at the part so the gun doesn't have to be disassembled first and then brought into the maintenance department. What customers are already using the multi-frame gun? Well, one of our biggest customers is Magna, but also Volvo, Ford, and other tier one OEMs who don't have their own gun standards use our multi-frame gun. And what else have we got next to it? It looks smaller and more compact. Yes, very well so. I mean, this gun is even smaller, lighter and more compact than the multi-frame gun. So this is the world premiere here today. We're showing this for the first time. It's the new NIMAC NTC gun. Why NTC gun? It is the first joint development between NIMAC and Tunkers. So NIMAC Tunkers Compact Gun NTC. This gun as well is based on the standardized NIMAC welding transformer with 130 kVA and it is suitable for all applications and the gun will be equipped with a NEMO, NIMAC <laughs> servo drive. In addition to the standard flanging points, and if that is not sufficient, you can use this optional bracket here and can use additional flanging points for the robot. In order to make handling easier and have a quick production throughput, we've already developed a finished catalogue of guns with various designs and versions that are available for the customer for simulation. On the one hand, it saves design, time and cost and reduces uh, the throughput time and the use time of the punch and the gun. Uh, I think it's the perfect gun for the cost-aware and the cost-efficient buyer who still wants to use made in Germany quality. However, our main focus in the design was in a different point, Mr. Seeburger. Well, another idea of this welding gun is to manufacture the guns on site that is in the Tunker subsidiary close to the customer, which means that we can make our procurement in that region and use the standards that are um, applicable there. In countries such as Asia or China is that we have the local content and can offer another benefit to our customer. This, what we see next to is, doesn't seem to be for automation because there's a manual lever. Yes, exactly. This is a manual or a handgun. Today in Europe, with the high level of automation we have, it's no longer frequently used. It's used in pilot production, prototype production, smaller parts, special applications, or also in steel production. But there's one particularity. This gun is used in CKD manufacturing. What's CKD? CKD is really um, vehicles, cars from a box. With the car manufacturer, main components of a later body are being produced. It's all put in a box. It is shipped overseas to Thailand, Malaysia, India or Indonesia. And then 
together or with the manual weld gun, you build a complete body. So there's a Mercedes S series made in Thailand because they locally use the NIMAC welding gun and manufacture or assemble the vehicle from the components in the box. It's nearly the identical quality as the robot weld guns. You also have a transformer here and you have adaptive controls. So all the welding points are high quality. Okay, and this next to us looks like our forming technology, but has a different color. What is it? Now, this is another example of our consistent use of the C-frame modular kit by Tunkers. This is now formed to a buckle welding process, where the central element is again the C-frame, which by adapting the components to resisting welding, it has been supplemented. You have the transformer for the welding current and a pneumatic multi-four cylinder for the welding force. And you've got the tools that bring you the power and transmit the power to the tools.